Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Can you see me? Yes, I can. Okay, good. Could you possibly good. come over and give me a hand? Okay, so let's read the model conversation by having a role play. So first, I will be A and then you will be B. Okay? Okay. okay. Hello, Carlos. This is Gary. Hi, Gary. How are you? I'm okay. Listen, Carlos, I'm having trouble putting up my satellite dish. Could you possibly come over and give me a hand? I'm really sorry, Gary. I'm afraid I can't come over right now. I'm sick in bed. If I weren't sick in bed, I'd be glad to help you put it up. Don't worry about it. If I had known you were sick in bed, I wouldn't have called you in the first place. Okay, good. Now let's switch roles. This time, you will be A, I will be B, so if you may... Hello, Carlos. This is Greg, Gary. Hi, Gary. How are you? I'm okay. Listen, Carlos. I'm having trouble putting up my satellite dish. Could you possibly come over and give me your hand? I'm really sorry, Gary. I'm afraid I can't come over right now. I'm, so I'm sick in bed. If I weren't sick in bed, I'd be glad to help you put it up. Don't worry about it. If I had known you were sick in bed, I wouldn't have called you in the first place. Okay, so this time, let's do an activity. Based on the Moodle conversation, let's have a dialogue by using the details provided in page 155, okay? Okay. Okay, so I will be... Mm. Let's see. Ah, uh, yeah. I will be A and you will be B, okay? Yes. Okay, so let's start. Number one. Mm. Uh, Okay. Hello, Melissa. This is Grandma. Hi, Grandma. How are you? I'm okay. Listen, Melissa, I'm having trouble hooking up my DVD player. Could you possibly come over and give me a hand? I'm really sorry, Grandma. I'm afraid I can't come over right now. I'm on my way to a job interview. If I weren't on my way to a job interview. I'd be glad to help you. Hmm? Hook it up. Ah. Hook it up. Okay. Don't worry about it. If I had known you were... Uh -huh. If I had known you were on your way to do a job interview, I wouldn't have called you in the first place. Okay, number two. Mm -hmm. Hello, Jasmine. This is Michael. Hi, Michael. How are you? I'm okay. Listen, Jasmine, I'm having trouble figuring out the math homework. Could you possibly come over and give me a hand? I am really sorry, Michael. I'm afraid I can't come over right now. I have to finish my history paper. If if I hadn't had to finish my history paper, I'd be glad to help you figure it out. Don't worry about it. If I had known you had to finish your history paper, I wouldn't have called you in the first place. Okay, number three. Ready? Yes. Hello, Alex. This is Emily. Hi, Emily. How are you? I'm okay. Listen, Alex, I'm having trouble moving my piano. Could you possibly come over and give me a hand? I'm really sorry. I have to wait for the plumber. I'm afraid I can't come over right now. If I hadn't had to wait for the plumber, I'd, glad, I'd be glad to help you Move, move it. Okay, don't worry about it. If I had known you had to wait for the plumber, I wouldn't have called you in the first place. Okay, good. Number four. Hello, Angela. This is Erica. Hi, Erica. How are you? I'm okay. Listen, er, uh, Angela, I'm having trouble assembling my new bookcases. 
could you possibly come and come over and give me a hand? I'm really sorry. I'm babysitting for my neighbors. I'm afraid I can't uh, come over right now. If I weren't babysitting for my neighbors, I'd be glad to assemble assemble them. Mm -hmm, good. Don't worry about it. If I had known you were babysitting for your neighbors, I wouldn't have called you in the first place. Okay, next, number five. Hello, Stan. This is Matt. Uh, uh, hello, Matt. How are you? I'm okay. Listen, Stan, I'm having trouble filling out my income tax return. Could you possibly come over and give me a hand? I'm really sorry. I have to take our dog to the vet. I'm afraid I can't come over right now. If I hadn't had to take our dog to the vet, I'd be glad to fill, fill it out. Good. Nice. Next. Okay. Don't worry about it. If I had known you had to take your do dog to the vet, I wouldn't have called you in the first place. Number six. Hello, Helen. This is Olivia. Hi, Olivia. How are you? I'm okay. Listen, Helen, I'm having trouble setting up my new computer. Could you possibly come over and give me a hand? I'm really sorry. My relatives are visiting from Dallas. I'm afraid I can't come over right now. If I weren't, uh, if, if my relatives weren't visiting from Dallas, I'd be glad to set it up. Okay. Don't worry about it. If I had known your relatives were visiting from Dallas, I wouldn't have called you in the first place. Okay, next. Hello, Grace. This is Henry. Hi, Henry. How are you? Uh, I'm okay. Listen, Grace, I'm having trouble replacing the lock on my door, on my front door. Could you possibly come over and give me a hand? I'm really sorry. I'm changing the oil in my car. I, I'm afraid I can't come over right away. If I weren't changing the oil in my car, I'd be glad I'd be glad to replace replace it. Okay, I'd be glad to help you replace it, but yeah, that's fine. Don't worry about it. If I had known you were changing the oil in your car, I wouldn't have called you in the first place. Okay, almost there. Number eight. Hello Jay, this is Dad. Hi Dad. How are you? I'm okay. Listen, Jay, I'm having trouble programming my new phone. Could you possibly come and give me a hand? I'm really sorry. I have to take the kids to soccer practice. I'm afraid I can't come over right now. If I hadn't had to take the kids to soccer practice, I'd, I'd be glad to help you program it. Don't worry about it. If I had known you had to take the kids to soccer practice, I wouldn't have called you in the first place. Okay, next. Hello, Nick. This is Gordon. Hi, Gordon. How are you? I'm okay. Listen, Nick. I'm having trouble picking out a new wallpaper for my kitchen. Could you possibly come over and help me pick it up? Uh, I'm really sorry. I'm about to take my wife to the hospital. I'm afraid I can't come over right now. Uh, I, if I weren't about to take my wife to the hospital, I'd be glad to help you pick, pick it out. Okay, don't worry about it. If I had known you were about to take your wife to the hospital, 
I wouldn't have ca called in the first place. Okay, next, number 10. So let's have an imaginary illustration. So, wait. Hello, Ryu. This is Jay. Hi, Jay. Uh, how are you? I'm okay. Uh, listen, Ryu, I'm having trouble finding my dog. Hmm. Could you possibly come over and give me a hand? I'm really sorry. I have to... I have to go to the pharmacy right now. Uh, I'm afraid I can't come over right now. If... If I hadn't gone to the pharmacy, I'd be glad to help you finding the dog. Okay, if I hadn't glad to find, help you find, find. Okay, don't worry about it. If I had known you were going to the pharmacy, I wouldn't have called you hmm. in the first place. Yeah. Okay, so let's switch roles and start from number one again. Okay. Hello, Melissa. This is Grandma. Hi, Grandma. How are you? I'm okay. Listen, Melissa. I'm having a trouble uh, hooking up my DVD player. Could you possibly come over and give me a hand? I'm really sorry, Grandma. I'm afraid they can't come over right now. I'm on my way to a job interview. If it weren't, if I weren't on my way to a job interview, I'd be glad to help you hook it up. Don't worry about it. If I had known uh, you, you were, you were on my on your way to a job interview, I wouldn't have called you in the first place. Okay, good. Next, please. Hmm. Hello, Jasmine. This is Michael. Hi, Michael. How are you? I'm okay. Listen, Jasmine. I'm having trouble figuring out their math homework. Could you possibly come over and give me a hand? I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, Michael. I'm afraid they can't come over right now. I have to finish my history paper. If I didn't have to finish my history paper, I'd be glad to help you figure it out. Uh, don't worry about it. If I had known uh, you, you have to finish your history paper. I wouldn't have called you in the first place. Uh -huh. Okay, next please. Hi, Alex. This is Emily. Hi, Emily. Hmm. Uh, I'm okay. How are you? I'm okay. Listen, Alex. Uh, I'm having trouble moving my piano. Could you possibly come over and give me a hand? I'm really sorry, Emily. I'm afraid they can't come over right now. I have to wait for the plumber. If I didn't have to wait for the plumber, I'd be glad to help you move it. Don't worry about it. If I had known you you had had to wait for the plumber, I wouldn't have called you in the first place. Mm -hmm. Okay, number four, please. Hi, Angela. This is Erica. Hi, Erica. How are you? Uh, I'm okay. Angela, uh, listen. I'm having trouble assembling my new bookcase. Could you possibly come over and give me a hand? I'm really sorry, Erica. I'm afraid I can't come over right now. I'm babysitting for my neighbors. If I weren't babysitting for my neighbors, I'd be glad to help you assemble them. Don't worry about it. If I had known you were babysitting for, my, for your neighbors, I wouldn't have called you in the first place. 
Mm-hmm. Next, please. Hi, Stan. This is Matt. Hi, Matt. How are you? I'm okay. Listen, Stan.、Uh, could you?、Uh, I'm having trouble filling out my income tax return. Could, could you possibly come over and give me a hand? I'm really sorry, Matt. I'm afraid I can't come over right now. I have to take our dog to the vet. Don't worry about it. If I had known you had heard to take your dog to the vet, I wouldn't have called you in the first place. Okay, next please. Hi, Helen. This is Olivia. Hi, Olivia. How are you? I'm okay. Listen, Helen.、Uh, I'm having a trouble、uh, setting up my new computer. Could you possibly come over and give me a hand? I'm really sorry, Olivia. I'm afraid I can't come over right now. My relatives are visiting from Dallas. If my relatives weren't visiting from Dallas, I'd be glad to help you set it up. Don't worry about it. If I had known they were visiting from Dallas. I wouldn't have called you in your first place. Okay, seven, please. Hi, Grace. This is Henry. Hello, Henry. How are you? I'm okay.、Uh, listen, Grace. I'm having a trouble replacing the lock on my front door. Could you possibly come over and give me a hand? I'm really sorry, Henry. I'm afraid I can't come over right now. I'm changing the oil in my car. If I weren't changing the oil in my car, I'd be glad to help you replace it. Don't worry about it. If I had known you were changing the oil in your car, I wouldn't have called you in your first place. Okay. Next, please. Almost there. Hi, Jay.、Uh, this is Dad. Hi, Dad. How are you? I'm okay.、Uh, listen, Jay. I'm having a trouble programming my new cell phone. Could you possibly come over and give me a hand? I'm really sorry, Dad. I'm afraid I can't come over right now. I have to take the kids to soccer practice. If I didn't have to take the kids to soccer practice, I'd be glad to help you program it. Don't worry about it. If I had known you had had to take their kids to soccer practice, I wouldn't have called you in your first place.、Mm-hmm. Hey, next please. Hi, Nick. This is Gordon. Hello, Gordon. How are you? I'm okay.、Uh, listen, Nick. I'm having a trouble picking out new wallpaper for my kitchen. Could you possibly come over and give me a hand? Really sorry, Gordon. I'm afraid I can't come over right now. I'm about to take my wife to the hospital. If I weren't about to take my wife to the hospital, I'd be glad to help you pick it out. Don't worry about it. If I had known you were about to take your wife to the hospital, I wouldn't called you in your first place. Okay, number ten. Mm. Uh, hi, Jay.、Uh, this is Ken. Hello, Ken. How are you? I'm okay. Listen, Jay. I'm having a trouble. I had a.、Uh, I'm having trouble having flat, flat tire.、Uh, could you possibly come over and give me a hand? I'm really sorry. Ken, I'm afraid I can't come over right now. I'm having a flat tire as well. If only I weren't having a flat tire, I'd be glad to help you fix it up.、Mm. Uh, okay. Uh, if uh, don't worry about it. If I had known you had you had a flat tire. I wouldn't call you in your first place. Okay. Do you have any questions? Not so far. 
Okay, so let's have a short review since we are done with this lesson. Please repeat after me. Plumber. 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 Okay, plumber. Plumber. Next, um, babysitting. Babysitting. Mm -hmm. Babysitting. 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 Lastly, interview. 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 That's right, interview. Interview. Okay, so now that we are done with our lesson and so far, yes, uh, the way there was no mispronunciation, although sometimes you have a, you have, you take a long time in speaking. That's understandable since you are making up your answer first. And I think it's quite, uh, it's quite good that even though in such a short amount of time, you still manage to make the sentences uh, considering they are long and only minor details are given. So great job on that. So maybe just keep on practicing in uh, in a dynamic conversations to improve that aspect. Anyway, what do you want to do now? Um, uh, can, can we end this lesson? Sure, sure. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Have a great night. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, you're Bye. welcome. Bye. Hello. Hello. Welcome to my class. Yes. My name is Daniel. Nice to see you. Mm, nice okay. to meet you. Mm. Nice to meet you, of course. Okay. Uh, Ken. Yes. Page 156, chapter 10-6. All right. Yes. Okay, good. Okay, great. And uh, let's have reading. Okay. Uh, let's read the title. Uh, let's read the title. Please re repeat decisions. Decisions. Excellent. Before we read the story, let's practice some useful vocabulary words first. All right. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. And please repeat after me. We're gonna practice twice. Okay. After a few seconds. After a few seconds. After a few seconds. After a few seconds. Excellent. Crazy. 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 Insist. 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 Lemon. 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 Sky resort. Ski resort. Ski resort. That's right. Ski resort. Ski resort. Slope. 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 Urge. 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 Very good. Thank you very much. And let's... Okay. We sit. All right. Can you please read the first story? Okay. Uh, or you want to read it after? Do you want to read by yourself? Yes, by myself. Okay. Go ahead. Whenever you're ready. Several years ago... Stanley's friends urged him not to quit his job at the post office. They told him that if he quit his job there, he would never find a better one. Stanley didn't follow their advice, and he's glad he didn't. He decided to quit his job at the post office and he found work as a chef at a restaurant downtown. He saved all his money for several years and then he opened a small restaurant of his own. Now, his restaurant is famous and people from all over town come to eat there. Stanley is glad he didn't listen to his friend's advice. If he had listened to his friend's advice, he probably never would have opened his restaurant and become such a success. Success. Uh, okay. Success. Success. Probably. Probably. That's good. Excellent. 
I didn't found anything else. All right. And we're going to have some questions about this story number one. Okay. Tell me, I will put everything in the chat box, of course. What kind of work did Stanley do before he became a, a chef? You can refer to text. Take your time. Okay. Ah, uh, he was. He did work at the post office. Uh, okay, we can say he worked at at the post office. Okay. Very good. He worked. All right. Let's go to second. Uh, what did he did he decide to do? Hmm. He decided to quit his job at the post office, and he found work as a chef at a restaurant downtown. Excellent. Very good. Great. Okay. Let's go now to read second story. All right. Oh, okay. Kelly's parents thought she was crazy when she bought a used car that had already been driven over 200,000 miles. They told her that if, if she bought that car, she'd probably have lots of problems with it. Kelly didn't follow her parents' advice. And she's really sorry she didn't since she bought the car two months ago. She had hurt to take it to the garage for repair seven times. Mm -hmm. Kelly wishes she had listened to her parents if she had listened to them. She never would have bought such a lemon. Well, that's right. Okay. And let's have some questions about this story too. Okay. Uh, I will put in the chat box, just a moment, please. What did Kelly's parents think about her decision to buy a used car? Hmm. Kelly's parents thought she was crazy when she bought a used car that had already been driven over 200 thousand miles. That's right. Okay, they thought she was crazy. That okay, can you please just repeat the word parents? Parents. Excellent, thank you. Very good. Okay, now question next question. What does Kelly wish? Hmm. Kelly wishes she had listened to her parents. That's right. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Uh, let me ask a question. Of course. Go ahead. Uh, I don't know lemon means in, meaning in this case. Uh -huh. It's a uh, phrase that marks uh, lemon is, in this case, car is not quality one. It's oh. bad quality. Good. Uh -huh. good. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right. Okay, very good. Let's go to next story. Okay. Go ahead. Hmm. Jason's key instructor insisted that Jason wasn't ready to ski down the advanced slopes at the Magic Mountain Ski Resort. She told him that if he skied down the advanced slopes, he'd probably injure himself. Jason didn't follow his ski instructor's advice, and he's very sorry he didn't. He skied down an advanced slope, and after just a few seconds, he fell and broke his leg. Jason wishes he had listened to his ski instructor. If he had listened to her, 
he wouldn't be lying in their hospital with his leg in a cast. Yeah. Advanced slopes. You can just, just a moment. Can you please repeat just advanced slopes? Advanced slopes. Very good, thank you. Excellent. Let's go to questions about this story number three. Okay. What did Jason Ski instructor insist? Insist. Hmm. Jason Ski instructor insisted that Jason wasn't ready to ski down the advanced slopes at their Magic Mountain ski resort. Yeah. That's right, thank you. All right, she said that Jason wasn't ready to ski down the advanced slopes at the Magic Mountain. That's right. Thank you. Number six, what does Jason wish and why? Jason wishes he had listened to his ski instructor because mm -hmm. If he had listened to her, he wouldn't be lying in the hospital with his leg in that cast. That's right, excellent. Very good. Thank you. All right. Can, do you have any questions? Can we? No, nice. so next? far. Very good. Okay, let's go then to checking up. Check up next page. This 157. Okay. And let's see what do we have here. Please read number. Uh, uh huh. Okay. Now let's have the activity answer true, false, or maybe. Okay. If the answer isn't in this story. Okay. Can you please read number one and give me the answer? Okay. Stanley's friends thought he shouldn't continue working at their post office. Mm -hmm. uh, it's false. That's right, it's false. Okay, second. Stanley is glad he followed his friend's advice. What do you think? Uh, it's false. All right. Yes. Okay, number three. Ah, Kelly's mother and father never buy used cars. Uh, maybe. That's right. You're right. Number four. Kelly's car has been at the garage for repairs for seven months. It's false. That's right. Number five. If Jason had listened to his ski instructor's advice, he wouldn't have skied down and advanced the slope. That's right. It's true. You're right. Hmm. Number six. Jason hasn't hurt his leg in a cast before, maybe. I, I do, too. Okay, very good. Thank you. All right. Great. And well done. Let's go to next exercise. Choose. Okay. Okay. Can you read, please? Okay. If he... if he had listened to their advice, he wouldn't have gotten hurt. That's right, thank you. Hmm. Number two. Mm -hmm. yeah. Since I bought this computer six weeks ago, I had to take it to the repair shop three times. I, I've 
start to say ah. it. Yeah. I. Ah. A. A. Ah, okay. I've had two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Number three. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't listen to my parents' advice. That's right. Thank you. Number four. Sarah wishes. Sarah wishes. She hasn't bought. She hasn't. Uh, she hadn't bought her used car from Ralph Jones. Yeah. Okay. That's right. Uh, okay, number five. If I didn't have to work overtime today, I'd be glad to go to the concert with you. If I didn't, yeah. Uh, six. If I weren't sick, I'd be happy right. to come over and help you. That's right. Thank you. Very good. Okay, and that is the end of today's uh, of this lesson. All right. Uh, we have some. Okay. Uh, do, do you have any questions? Yeah. Not so far. Can we proceed to the next page? Of course, no problem. Thank you so much. Okay. You're warm as welcome. No problem. Let's go. Skip to that. Okay. I will put in the chat box. <clears throat> Okay, in spoken English, the final D sound of world of would or could joins with the beginning Y sound of U to form J sound. Would you? Okay. Mm, would you? Okay. Would you? Would you? Okay, let's listen. Let's do this exercise first. Let's read. Listen, then say. Okay, the teacher reads each statement and the student uh, listens and repeats, all right? Okay. Okay. Would you like to see a movie? Would you like to see a movie? Very good. How would you like to go dancing? How would you like to go dancing? Excellent. Could you possibly, possibly come over? Could you possibly come over? Excellent. On the right row, you have say, then listen. Okay? So, okay. Go ahead. Hmm. Would you I'm like repeat. to have lunch? Mm -hmm. Would you like to have, uh, to have lunch? How would you like to go bowling? How would you like to go bowling? Could you possibly give me a hand? Could you possibly give me a hand? All right, thank you. Excellent. All right. Well done. Let's go to this. How would you like to have lunch? Okay. Side by side journal. And we have some activity. Please answer my. Okay. In side by side journal, we have some activities. And please tell about uh, a time when you had to make important decision and people gave you lots of advice. That is the situation and question number one. What was the situation when you need somebody else's advice? What do you think? Uh, okay. Uh, what was the situation? Mm -hmm. When I when I had uh, trouble. Mm -hmm. um, uh, there, the uh, Seikan Kobayashi, uh, which, which, uh, who, who is psychologist, uh, -huh. uh, he told me, uh, I, I don't, I didn't have to worry about. Uh -huh. 
uh, in the future and in the past. Mm -hmm. I, I, I had. He said. He he told me. I. I had better to worry about only now. Only for present. Uh, only for yes, that's right. Only for present. Mm -hmm. Present time. Understand. Uh huh. Okay. Why do you think they tell you that? Mm -hmm. Why? For what reason? Uh, ah. Okay. Uh, reason. Because uh, we can't change uh, f in the future and in the past. Mm -hmm. Only we can change for uh, present. So, mm -hmm. so we we had better worry about only for present. Understand. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you follow their advice? Yes, I really did. Mm -hmm. And what happened? Hmm. Uh, my my stress it was uh, have been reduced. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Do you think you made the right decision about this? Hmm. I I think so. Yes, because your stress was reduced. Yeah. Okay, I'm glad for you that you hmm. overcame the difficulties. All right. Very good. Yes. Thank you. Welcome. All right. Let's go to grammar focus. All right. And this time, let's review the grammar focus in chapter ten. Okay. And let's repeat the review of verb and tenses. Uh, but before we read the sentences in the blue box, let's learn the grammar rules for this lesson first. Okay, I will copy paste, of course, everything. Okay. Rule. Mm. Moment. Okay. The principal use of the simple tense, simple present, is to refer to an action or event that takes place habitually, but with the verb to be. Its simple present tense also refers to a present or general state, whether temporary, permanent, or habitual. Okay? Okay. For example, okay, I'm happy, she's helpful. Hmm. Okay. Yes. This is some example. All right. Let's read this statement in the first blue box and please repeat after me. Okay. My computer is broken. My computer is broken. Uh, you just ate both of our salads. You just ate both of our salads. Okay, both our salads. Both our salads. Okay, thank you. All right. And let's see a uh, simple past present continuous present and simple past okay and let's see the grammar rule for simple past tense okay just a moment the simple past tense is used to express events that happened in the past mm. okay. okay it worked yes Okay, thank you. All right, let's read the stand statement. Okay, we this uh, this example. You just ate both our salads. Is present continuous? Yes. And uh, let's see the rule for this type. Okay. Okay, rule. The present continuous tense is used to express events that are happening right now. Okay, simple past. Uh, okay, for example, 
just a moment. What's she doing? She's reading. What she's read? What's she reading? She's reading the newspaper. And this is this was. I'm having trouble. All right. Can you please repeat after me? Okay. I am having trouble putting up my satellite dish. I'm having trouble putting up my satellite dish. Excellent. Very good. And please repeat uh, present perfect. Okay, let's go to next rule. Present perfect tense. Just a moment. Okay. Present perfect tense describes an activity that began in the past and continues up to the present. For example, I thought history for the past three I I have taught history for the past three years. I continue to teach history. Mm, yes. Okay. And let's read the statement present perfect how long has it been broken how long has it been broken it's been broken for two days it's been broken for two days excellent thank you all right how about eight seconds yeah thank you very much thank you so okay. much bye you're welcome see you soon bye ネイティブキャンプは月額で受け放題のオンライン英会話です。概要欄に公式サイトへのリンクを貼っておきます。